We're at the New York Toy Fair 2020. It's time to rise up. Hey, this one looks like you can remove it. Wait, is my audio on? Oh. Yeah. I'll leave that for after. Alright. Let's. We're gonna go around and after we'll talk to him and ask. Alright. All right. So we're gonna go over uh, the new stuff. So this is the shelf for all the new lines. Venom and Devilos right there. You've got Astro, Harmony Pegasus. Doesn't look that bad. Obviously the wings aren't there. They just molded it on like I said. Uh, Rock Tavor, which this one's in a two pack. Bushin Ashindra, uh, the recolor, Air Knight, Rooter, and look at that, Lord Spryzen. Uh, just seems molded on. Uh, at least they got the detail right on the thing. I have no idea what the chip's supposed to be. Uh, check out this one. It's actually an old gen one. Super surprising, actually. Did not expect that one. This is actually a huge surprise for me. This is Cosmic Valtriac. This appeared in the random booster, the first random booster for GT. I didn't even think Hasbro was going to do it. I guess because it's Valtriac, it makes sense. They're going to do it. Sword Valtriac, okay, we know. Wizard Fafnir. Uh, then after we've got uh, Cosmic Kraken, Solar Sphinx. Uh, we're just gonna go fast on this one because it's like you know older stuff. Ogre O4 or Ogre O, o, Ogre o 5 uh, Ace Dragon, Gargoyle, and then after Rock Dragon on the end. Moving on to this side, we've got the new Unguard, which that color scheme does look really nice. Uh, then after we've got Artemis. Then after we've got Zone Lunar. Then after we've got Dusk Balkesh, and look at this one, Union Achilles. Uh, I don't know if this blue piece is removable, but you can tell that it definitely has a, a, a separate mold of the, the thing there. It, it looks like it, it looks like it. It's super hard to tell. Erase Devilos, uh, Judgment Joker, another old gen remake, which was a little surprising. I believe that is another Gargoyle. Yeah, they repeated Gargoyle again. Uh, Rooter, okay, so the bottom, bottom, N not too much. So the new ones to keep in mind are the Rock Tavor, the Harmony Pegasus, the new Lord Spryzen, which is right here, the Cosmic Valtriac, which is uh, right along here. Uh, after that, it is, uh, again, there's a lot of old gen remakes, so I saw Drums or Flame, I think, Drigger. Uh, again, really awesome. And uh, we're gonna, yeah, Union, Union looks not too bad, I would say, not too bad. Obviously, I could say maybe like a little bit more in the thing, but I am happy to see it as the power mode on the thing. I don't know if it is removable or not. It kind of looks like it is. It looks like a separate piece, but I, I took a lot of photos after. We're gonna move on. All right, so just talking about my coverage at the New York Toy Fair 2020. It was an amazing opportunity to actually go there. Uh, for the coverage. Um, this right here, we're just gonna be showing the actual side display of uh, the stuff, uh, just give, which does give us like a lot of stuff in leeway to what they're doing. But a huge thanks to Hasbro for the opportunity, I don't know how many times I could say, for the actual opportunity to go there and to actually specifically cover it. Got this like sneak in or anything like that, try to snag whatever, like actually get personal coverage on it. Uh, so basic stuff, Venom Devilos, uh, Left Astro, uh, again, I we took a lot of photos of the thing, so that's way if I show stuff that we've already seen in the past, you know, we go bit by bit. Astro, whatever. Now, Harmony Pegasus, so we finally got to see it. It is not, people said it's black. It's not really black. Like, it's just how the lighting was in the room. It, it legit had the same colors as the thing. The wings are just molded on there. There's no gimmick. Uh, first of all, it should be obvious there's no gimmick on the thing. Looks extremely detailed, very nice. I also did get a picture of what the driver looks like for a lot of this stuff too. Uh, not just like a far away picture. I made sure to actually get really close. So going back to this picture of Harmony right here, looks nice, good detail. I would have preferred if they painted the wings outside gray, whatever it is what it is. Uh, on the side there, you're gonna notice I was able to get kind of like a nice shot there. Again, it was the best that I could do with uh, how it worked there. But uh, you know, you can get to see some of the drivers on the side there. 
a top view of the bay as I tried to get also. Uh, this is a nice rock tavor, yellow uh, with some pink on it, so recolor. Uh, again, I try to get a side shot of the thing there, you can see. Uh, again, more side shots. You know, if there are some slingshot bays, slingshot bays are still coming back. Uh, that's kind of like a big thing just to say in general, but uh, a lot of stuff is covered in these things, like for the interview that I did. Uh, side stuff, you can also see Lord Spryzen's tip right there. Uh, but just uh, moving forward. Uh, more side shots, there's Cosmic Valtriac. Yes, they're actually doing the random booster one. Huge surprise uh, when I saw it. Uh, bottom row, there's no, no new bays on there. It's just, I think, Wave 1 and Mix of Wave 2. Cosmic Valtriac, they're doing it. And unlike Cosmic Kraken, it actually looks like it has genuine detail on it. Amazing job by Hasbro uh, for just having this bay. Like, I didn't think they were going to do it. It's nice that they're doing it, and it looks good. Like, actually, it looks like Pepper and Tommy. They actually did multiple paint applications. That's what I like to see. Did look, did look amazing. Uh, Cosmic Valtraic, and then after there's the other bays, uh, Fafnir, Kraken, bays we've seen before. I guess if you want to see in the display case, I will uh, show it. Uh, now, there will be like two parts. One where it's just like the thing where we just quickly went through the thing, then we went bit by bit, and now it's the breakdown on my part. Uh, Lord Spry's in there, there's no rubber on it. Detail actually looks very uh, nice. Uh, if you're wondering about the, the rotation of the chip, uh, I think I have something else that's going to answer that very soon. Uh, I did do an interview uh, with uh, the person that was there and I did ask some questions also after uh, the coverage that I did. So I will give answers to a lot of stuff, like people wondering about Switch Strike, whatever. Uh, there's this On Guard recolor, which looks amazing. That's a nice recolor. Green, yellow blends well. I like recolors when they look really like detailed. Another side shot I was able to get. I think so. There are some tips, uh, like I think Ungard has Valor or something like that, or the Cosmic Kraken tip or whatever. Uh, more side shots. Uh, Union Achilles, my friend, looks amazing. And I've been trying to say this in the coverage, but uh, it very well does look like it has the mode change on it. I'm saying that because the mold, you could act, it, I, I can't, I couldn't physically take it apart. It was glued there for the demo, but it looked like I could customize it on the thing. Like, I could actually take it off, but I don't know. Not confirmed, don't quote me on it. It looks like you can have speed and power mode, but power mode's 100% confirmed on the Achilles. Uh, more stuff, like I said, some of the older bays. Uh, a big surprise, actually, was uh, they had some old gen bays returning. I saw Drigger, I saw some, I think I saw Drusil, I saw some bays like that. Uh, again, this is very mixed when I'm showing Union Achilles, Erase, Judgment. Union does look really nice. There's another one, but uh, not for this uh, actual episode. Uh, but what I can show, for example, uh, the other singles that were there, you can see Zone Lunar, Marigna, uh, some stuff there. Just trying to see what I can show. Uh, yeah, there we go. More singles on the stuff and everything. A closer look at Harmony Pegasus, like an actual closer look. I went up really close and I flipped the thing. If you want to see what low hypersphere looks like, that's what it looks like. So wacky, there's no proof frame if you are wondering. That is what low hypersphere is. I did make sure to go in detail. Now this one, I didn't plan on putting it in this episode, but because I actually want to make sure I can show everything with the cut. Yeah, we just arrived. Monster Ogre is a bay I think we gotta show. That's a nice one. Monster Ogre, or I don't know if it's gonna be called, Mon no, the listings in Monster Ogre, the Ogre Evolution, bam. Look at that beauty. Looks super, super nice. And the drive, get this. Look at this. It looks like it's going to have outer and octa hypersphere. That's what it looks like to me. Ogre looks amazing. Amazing. I love the colors. It blends well. Looks nice in my own opinion. Uh, Again, you can see there's a lot of old gen. Not okay. When I say a lot of old gen, I just mean like the ones Hasbro's done in the past. Uh, there's like I was a Drigger, or whatever. Uh, has Zeta Slingshock. There's Dragoon Fighter, Phantom, whatever you call it. Transparency on the thing. Uh, comes with uh, a tip on it. There's uh, what is that? Drusil, I believe, and it comes with Atomic Slingshock. Uh, this one I think is Drawn to Flame or whatever. Comes with Tower Slingshock. If you're wondering why there was a lot of demand for it. Uh, Union Achilles, a closer look. This is what Extend Plus Hypersphere looks like. 
and you're gonna notice, you see what I was talking about when I said it looks like you can remove that piece? That blue piece looks like you can actually take it off and customize it. I swear to God, I swear to God, it looks like a different mold. It looks like actually, it's not molded together like they just did another paint applique. It actually looks like you can take it off. Uh, this one's a little bit blurry. This one's a little bit closer, but uh, I'm gonna show you just a little bit more. Uh, the Spryzen right there, just going back to it. Some shots are a little bit blurry. Uh, Spryzen looks nice. This actually a lot closer on the Spryzen thing. This looks nice with the detail. There is no metal, plastic on the thing. Uh, Cosmic uh, Valtrek, Union Achilles, uh, again, Harmony. I'm just going over all the stuff, just making sure whatever I can show that I can show right now. Uh, Cosmic again, I don't know if I... We took a lot of shots, yeah, you get the idea. So just to go back to it, uh, to the shot of me, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, it was again, amazing opportunity by Hasbro for this, and uh, it's awesome, man, it's awesome. We're gonna get our coverage out on everything. I try to demo a lot for whatever I could. Keep in mind that there was not that much to actually demo other than the new stadium. Uh, a lot of stuff was just there for display, but I got a lot of pictures on the thing. Uh, expect uh, just basic coverage, and then after I'll go in-depth breakdown. I'm not gonna like hide stuff or whatever. I'm just going bit by bit. This was the easiest thing to get out because I had the slides, I already took the photos, whatever, to get the files. Enjoy. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe. Click that bell to be notified of my uploads for more videos. We do news coverage. We do our best for the community, not just some random thing, whatever. We do our best to do everything. Uh, well, you can expect uh, new launcher coverage, new set, and as well the interview. I asked a lot of questions. Not too much they could answer, but I tried to hard hit for the questions that people have been wanting to know. I did my best. I did my best to represent the community. I even talked to individual people getting their input. I just want to say like that so people can understand. We try to put our best for this stuff. That's it for now. Thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day.